One of the biggest things that can impact your life is the terminology that you use. And these are what ifs. So I'll give you a perfect example. Let's say if you're going to go speak somewhere and you're like, what if I go over there and I forgot what I'm going to say, right? What if I mess up? What if people laugh? What if this? What if that? But we use that in every aspect of our lives. The problem is that we're doing the wrong what ifs. We're telling our mind, look for what can go wrong. And what does our mind do? It kind of giving a command. So we're helping create and perpetuate the negative what ifs, the things that we don't even want to live or the things that we don't want to create. So when you find yourself asking yourself, what if this goes wrong? Or what if I go do this and I mess up or whatever it is? What if you change your what ifs? What if instead of saying negative what ifs, what if you start changing them to positive what ifs? What if you start saying, what if I go up there and everyone has an amazing time? They laugh. They, they think I'm an amazing speaker. I transform lives. I really touch and, and change people's uh, journey through my presentation or whatever it is, right? So it's important to recognize that even in relationships, in your career, your business, all those things that you create doubt, and a lot of time that doubt comes from the negative what ifs. So all you have to do is become more conscious about it because you probably don't even know that you're doing it, right? So once you become more conscious about it, then you can really sit back and say, okay, what what ifs can I use that are actually gonna empower me? Empower me. What what ifs can I use that are actually gonna help me create the life that I wanna live? And it sounds pretty simple, but sometimes change doesn't have to be complicated. Sometimes change can just be a simple terminology that we use that can help shift our lives.